Typically, on the intro here at Indie News, uh, when it's my turn to do it, I like to take the names of the upcoming shows and just combine them together and make a fun intro out of it. Yeah, why aren't you doing it this time? Uh, because we have one upcoming show and I have no fucking clue what it means. This is the Indie News. True. It is a tricky one. Uh, maybe we'll know more <laughs> afterwards. Afterwards. But for now, let's start with the results. Yeah. Uh, Friday, we had Evolve 115 from Lavonia, Michigan. Yeah, I'm sure that's how everybody in Michigan says it. Lavonia, Michigan. That's how we say it here on the Wrestling Rundown. And that's all that fucking matters because you're watching this video or listening to this podcast. So fuck it. Tell us what happened at Evolve 115. In Lavonia. Lavonia. Uh, Barrett Brown defeated Bishop King. Uh, Mike Fierro. Uh, no, no, say that right. Bishop King. <laughs> uh, Mike Fierro defeated Juntai. Harlem Bravado defeated Leon Ruff, Adrian Alanis, and Jason Kincaid. Uh, Austin Theory defeated A.R. Fox. I almost flipped their first names. A.R. Theory and Austin Fox. Yeah, I almost said that. Mustafa Ali defeated DJZ. Josh Briggs defeated Cody Vance. Allison K retained the Shine Women's Championship against Shotzi Blackheart. The Street Profits... Uh, yes, those from NXT. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Uh, retained the Evolve Tag Team Championships from uh, Drake and Henry. Indeed. And uh, Fabian Eichner from NXT successfully defended the Evolve Championship from Cash Zono from NXT. And in the main event was an unsanctioned match, a rematch from earlier in the card, where AR Fox would defeat Austin Theory. Hmm. Funny things happen at Evolve. Yeah. Saturday happened also. Yeah. What happened on Saturday? Uh, apparently CCW Night of Infamy happened. Yeah. We, I've we, seen clips. Yeah, we've seen things. We know... Uh, pictures. We know order of matches, uh, but not results of matches. Um, this, is a, this is a second offense by CCW. You know, and I can't. we can't 100% just put all the blame on CCW... Because we also have, like, n no one in correspondence. Like, no one is going on Twitter that we can find, at least. True, yeah. No one's going on and uploading results. No one's putting it on their, like, websites, like 411 Mania or PW Ponderings. Yeah. Like, who usually are really on top of getting a lot of our regular indie shows. I, I, th I think, I think, well, and we, we noted it a couple shows ago that people are kind of... They're not as hyped on CZW as previous years. Yeah, yeah. It's becoming like, a this very wishy-washy... This year specifically has been very like, well, CZW happened, but no one really cares. Um, so yeah, there's... If if we have the same issue with... Uh, Cage mean, of Death. Cage of Death is, is going to be the next one. If we have the same issues, there's a good chance that CZW <laughs> might not be featured on the Indian News in 2019. Yeah. But for now, uh, if you do know any results from Night of Infamy 2018, please post down in the comments for us and for the other viewers. Yeah. Uh, also on Saturday, though, we had AAW's Legacy yes. in LaSalle, Illinois, where Paco, Mike Hartenbauer, and Cody Rice defeated Bucky Collins and the Hooligans, uh, who are going to be dropping their newest uh, folk country album pretty soon here. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Bucky but Collins and the Hooligans. Uh, the Besties defeated uh, Connor Braxton and Stephen Wolf, Sage Kanan and the End Seeker, and Dion Russman and Joe Asa in a four-way tag. That's a match. lot of a lot of a lot of different names. Two graduates from the Black and Brave Academy. Yes, Indeed. shout out to Robert Vaughn and Seth Rollins. Well, he's the teacher there. I'm just saying, I know somebody who graduated from oh, okay. Black and Brave. Come on. Well, I this is the only person that I yeah. that I knew. So, I, and I like yeah, I like fair. Seth Rollins. Yeah. Uh, DJ Z defeated Myron Reed and Trey Miguel. Uh, Quinn McKay defeated Alley Cat. Trevor Lee retained the Heritage Championship from Rich Swan. Uh, the Lucha Bros defeated the Rascals. That match was probably really good. Probably. Uh, MJF replaced Eddie Kingston and defeated Mance Warner. So MJF uh, gave you your, your extended uh, birthday present. Yeah, so thanks, I guess. But let's be honest, he'd buy you a birthday present and then take it back because he'd want it. Yeah. I don't like MGF that much either. That's fine. Uh, Something Stallion defeated Ace Romero and Marco Stunt. Uh, Kylie Ray defeated Allison Kay. 
And in the main event tag team street fight, Sammy Callahan and Jessica Havoc defeated Brody King and Jimmy Jacobs. Indeed. Then we had the follow-up Evolve show, 116 in Oakland, Illinois. Not to be confused with Pork Loin. Or Pork Lawn. Or Oakland. Or Cupine. <laughs> Post in the comments if you know what we're talking about. Please, I hope somebody somebody has to have seen that Family Feud clip. Post the clip if you know what we're talking about. Uh, anyway. Adrian Alanis defeated Barrett Brown. Josh Briggs defeated Jason Kincaid. Isaiah Velasquez defeated GPA. Uh, Fabian Eichner. Uh, defeated Anthony Henry via DQ. Retains the championship. Yep. Uh, uh, J- J.D. Drake defended the WWN Live championship against Harlem Bravado and Austin Theory. Three-way. Uh, successful title defense always makes it harder when you get two opponents instead of one. Yeah. Uh, Matt Nix defeated Cyrus Satin. <laughs> King. And Mike Fierro. Uh, Cassius Ono defeated Shane Strickland. The Street Profits retained the tag titles from A.R. Fox and Leon Ruff. And Mustafa Ali defeated Darby Allen. Then told him he was going to win the Cruiserweight Championship at Survivor Series and come back and give Darby Allen a title shot. Mustafa Ali putting himself and Darby Allen the fuck over. Yeah. Making promises that he ain't going to be able to keep. Yeah, I, th- I, think, I think Buddy's got his number. Buddy Murphy 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Is Buddy, Buddy, Mur- is Buddy Murphy running? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just saying Buddy Murphy's going to be running the Cruiserweight division. For uh, for all of 2019? I think a very good portion of 2019. All right. I think he's going to have a Neville-esque title reign. All right. Well, Neville look, was champion for a long time. You'll find out this and more when we do our Survivor Series predictions later this week. Uh, and then we had the final show of the weekend on our my side of the table from... Chikara! In the Wrestle Factory. Don't. Go to sleep, but I'm tired. Don't fall asleep. Okay. Tell me what happened. Uh, Calix the Castigator defeated Fire Ant. That sucks. Uh, Cajun, Crawdad, and Hermit Crab defeated uh, Colony members Thief Ant and Green Ant. The Nouveau Aesthetic and Blanche, Babish, and Jeremy Leary in a that, four corners tag team that match. That sucks even more. I, Hyper, I really want to go to sleep. Hype Rockwell defeated the Proletariat Borough of Moldova. Still, uh, that, that that sucks too. Lucas Calhoun defeated Missile Assault Man. Okay. Could have gone either way on that one. Yeah. Uh, Travis Huckabee, Hollow Wicked, and the team of Crumbles and Tafarge defeated Solo Darling, Boomer, Hatfield, and the Cyberhawks. Joey Janella appeared. A wild bad boy appeared. <laughs> uh, claiming that he's going to be the quote unquote corner captain. Yeah. Uh, Since he can't team compete. beyond. Yeah, his injury's gonna keep him out for a long time. Yeah. Uh, so he's not gonna be there for the next show. Yes. Uh, kind of thing. Bust up his knee real good. Yeah. Um, so he has announced that he's gonna be cornering the team of Chris Dickinson, Brian Malonis, and Cam Zagami, which we could understand because those three were the trios team that they had for King of Trios this year. True. Uh, along with Ryan Galeone, the Beaver Boys, and Nick Gage. Go Team Chikara. I mean... Don't dwell on it. It's just going to make you more mad. <sighs> Let's pump you up a little bit. Ophidian defeated Roy Gulak. Hell yeah! And Dasher Hatfield retained the Grand Championship on behalf of Mr. Touchdown from the Whisper. Hell yeah! Beating Fake Ophidian. That's that's two wins in a row for me. I'm I'm wide awake now. So I should probably talk about Ring of Honor now, huh? Yep. All right. Well, we open up with Jeff Cobb beating somebody up. I don't know who exactly it was uh, because uh, I got home late. And I turned on the TV just to see someone laying on the ground and Jeff Cobb holding the TV title in the air. So whoever it was, Jeff Cobb beat him up. Uh, the Bouncers defeated Cheeseburger and Eli Isom in tag team action. Uh, SCU came out and promised that the addiction uh, part of SCU was going to win the tag titles next week. Because we have a triple threat tag team title match where the Briscoes are going to defend against the addiction and the Young Bucks. Um... Pretty much, they're at this point where they're coming to the end of when uh, President Joe Coff gave them 
up until this point and after like final battle this year they are out of ring of honor so they're trying so they're trying to do everything they possibly can to give joe Koff a reason to keep them around and what better way than end the reign of terror of the briscoes so they promise to win the tag titles Unfortunately, on their way back, the Briscoes attacked all three members of SCU, and Jay Briscoe hit a Jay Driller on Christopher Daniels up on the stage. And during the commercial, he was carted away, and cameras caught him saying, I can't feel my arms. So, more than likely, there's a good chance, especially after a successful tag team win at All In, that we'll see Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky team up, but that hasn't been made official yet. We'll find out next week in our Triple Threat Tag Team Title Match. Then in the main event, Jonathan Gresham, Jay Lethal, and their returning mystery partner, Dalton Castle, defeated the Kingdom in six-man tag team action. And then towards the end, we saw what seemed to be a uh, an agreement on Jay Lethal giving Dalton Castle his rematch for the ROH Championship. Uh, and next week, not only will we get those tag team titles on the line, but we'll also get a no disqualification match, the third meeting, or the fourth meeting, I, be- I believe, of... Uh, Hurricane Helms versus the villain Marty Skrull. Helms, Skrull, Fuller. No disqualification. None so it'll probably just be those two matches next week, more than yeah. likely, uh, with some random promos. Also, there was an interesting interesting thing where uh, Bruiser is really upset, had to be like coaxed to the ring by Brian Malonis, because the last time they were in Philadelphia was when uh, Silas just kind of like left them mm. to do their own thing, so... Uh, Bruiser's still a little broken up about uh, Silas just leaving him, uh, up and leaving him. So, sorry, Bruiser, you might be better off with Brian Malonis. But anyway, that is it for results. We have some unfortunate news. Uh, yeah. Let's get that out of the way first. Let's talk about real quick uh, the famous Dick wrestler Joey Ryan. Oh. Not to be confused with any other famous Dick wrestler or anyone else named Joey Ryan. Um, at a live event this past week in Austin, Texas, I believe, uh, tore his pec muscle, uh, leaving his arm all nasty purple, uh, all the Triple H. Yes. Uh, at the Crown Jewel event. So what? A week removed from uh, from Crown Jewel. We have another yeah, it's, it's a, another high profile porn er, porn, porn tech. tech. Getting his torn pack, uh, you know it's it's the, these things are catchy. They go around, you know they. It's like a you know like the flu season. It's torn peck season. God, November sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, he did fulfill his next night bookings by teaming with Hornswoggle in Chicago. Uh, and very then, limited. Yeah, did very very little. Uh, and then cut a promo. He's gonna have to pull off the other events that he was scheduled for for the time being. Well, he goes to see his doctor. See, sees, uh, you know, gets checked on how severe the injury really is, and then assesses for the future. Definitely didn't look as bad as Triple H's. No, because uh, Picture- tri- Triple H had the bruising like all the way like on the chest and then and, all like, the, like, like halfway like, down his arm. Too. Yeah, Joey's just kind of on like the bicep region. Yeah. So it looked it looked minor compared to Triple H. Maybe just Triple H being older, his bruises more True. though. Uh, but who knows? So best of luck to Joey Ryan. Yes. Uh, hopefully he heals up very quickly. Yes. Also uh, on the ROH New Japan side, Cody Rhodes, unfortunately, or Cody, don't call him Rhodes. Uh, unfortunately, during uh, kind of a post show type of thing, teasing throwing a T shirt out into the crowd. Uh, ROH was on its uh, its uh, Global Wars fall tour. Um, he heard a pop in his knee. It was, ve- it was very audible. Um, he thought maybe it was just like just kind of a, a tweak and that he'd be fine to compete on Saturday to defend the IWGP United States title against Beretta. Unfortunately, uh, it was much more severe. He's getting an MRI later this week. So, unfortunately, that match was canceled at Sunday's tapings for... Uh, the global wars. So not only a get well soon to Joey Ryan, but hopefully the damage is not very severe to Cody Rhodes. But on a positive side, Cass looks like a blob. Sorry. Anyway, uh, so I'll, I'll kick off uh, upcoming shows because technically our first day where we would normally start getting uh, upcoming shows. Uh, World Tag League from New Japan is going to be starting. 
Uh, we have 14 teams out of the 16 that uh, that competed last year. Uh, we haven't broken them into blocks yet. I'll know more about that next week. But the teams are as follows. We have Togi Makabe and to uh, Toa Hanare. We have uh, Hiroshi Tenzan and Satoshi Kojima. Yuji Nagata and Manabu Nakanishi. Ayoto Yoshida and Shoto Umino. Juice Robinson and David Finley, Michael Elgin and Jeff Cobb, Tomohiro Ishii and Toriyano, The Best Friends, Hangman Page and Yujiro Takahashi, The Gorillas of Destiny, Minoru Suzuki and Takashi Izuka. Uh, we have uh, Killer Elite Squad. Killer Elite Squad, thank you. I was trying to remember their name. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and Taichi. And representing Los Angeles, we have Sonata and Evil. So. Uh, your pick, go right now. Oh. Who's your pick to win? Uh, Elgin and Cobb. Hmm. You? Um. I'm gonna go with Juice and Finley. Really? Yeah. They they were like that cohesive team, and then they kind of broke up and did stuff, and then and they, they started losing until Juice Robinson won the United States title. Yeah, but then like when, when they team with other people, they, they seem terrible. to be very dysfunctional. They work really well as a team. Yeah. All so right. I'm, I'm, and plus, you know, it's been kind of a good year for Juice Robinson. Oh, yeah. No, 2018 so. has been very good to Juice Robinson. Uh, so, yeah. That'll be starting on November 17th. Uh, we will know... Uh, but if you ask who I want to win, Beretta and Chucky. Not Eugene Nagata? Uh, no, he's in there with Beretta and Chuck Taylor. Oh, that's fair. No. Uh, I don't really... Uh, maybe Hangman Page and Yujiro Takahashi. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we will know more next week after the first couple shows happen, so we'll give you a result uh, in the following weeks as to who's heading towards a victory in the World Tag League. But for now, guys, it's time for... Upcoming Show! We already talked about it. We only got one show, and it's... Memento Mori? My Attack Pro Wrestling. Memento Mori. Memento you Mori. Not, you are not the father. Oh. Memento Mori Povich. Oh, oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, it's happening in Cardiff, Wales. Yes. Uh, where we're going to have Charlie Evans take on Mike Bird versus Elijah versus Nico Angelo against ELP versus Stupid Sexy Travis. Me. You're not going over to Cardiff, Wales to wrestle. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. You might have to do Indian news by yourself next week. No. Fuck off. Uh, Millie McKenzie takes on Chris Brooks. Uh, Damian Dunn versus Super Santos Jr. Splits, McKin Splits McPins versus LK Mezinger in a grudge match. A poor tag match. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, and then a three way TLC tag team match for the tag titles. Yes. Where Nothing to Prove faces the Hunter Brothers and also Aussie Open. That's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, those are those are three very solid teams, very solid teams, and well built for TLC. Mm -hmm. So, looking forward to that. Uh, I mean, we don't have a whole lot of shows. I mean, it's it's getting towards the end of the year. We're in the holidays now, so the indie shows are going to be far and few between. Yeah, they're they're going to open up a little bit. You're going to get a lot of finale style yeah, we, shows. We have but... we have one more show from AAW coming up, and I believe that's going to be on our next set on the twenty fourth. Um, House of Hardcore is about to come back for a December show, and that's really all they've got set up. So, and yeah, we got Chikara's finale coming up pretty mm -hmm. soon too. So, yeah, very very few shows left in the year of 2018, but uh, we will let you know what's going on. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click those links down below. There are so many social media links, but <laughs> said but. The social media links that are on every single video and they're, podcast, they're, yeah, they're they're not the vid they're not the links we want you to pay attention to as much as the other links that appear above our links. Yeah, the links that appear above ours take you to the multiple websites 
that provide you all the information on the independent wrestling promotions that we talk about here on a regular basis. I'm talking like ChikaraPro.com. BeyondWrestlingOnline.com. Uh, AAWrestling.com. ROHWrestling.com. AIWrestling.com. And many more. So many more. But we want to add more base on your suggestions, so this is where those social media links become very, very handy, because we want you to send us links to your favorite and or local promotions, whether it's their Facebook page, their YouTube page, their website, whatever they've got. If they got a little bit of what they got going on, we need their upcoming shows, and within 24 hours of results of said shows, because if we like what they got going on, we will not only continue to talk about them on a regular basis, but we'll give you a shout out for bringing them to our attention. We also want to check out our podcast. <coughs> That's the link that says SoundCloud. There's no cough cough in the uh, in the link. It's HTTP backslash cough, colon cough cough, cough dot soundcloud dot yeah. com. Slash the wrestling rundown, uh, where you get this review and all of our regular reviews in podcast form. Uh, we also want to stay on this YouTube page because in a couple of days we're going to be having our Survivor Series predictions. Since Survivor, Ser- uh, Survivor Series and NXT TakeOver War Games. Yeah. Looking forward to that. All the other normal stuff. But we also want to check out Reasonable Wrestling fans. It's Reasonable the W. Like, like wrestling. wrestling. We're the list with Kevin Hawk, Question of the Week with Thomas Wolf, other videos loosely based around wrestling, and... Pretty much every single month we have an unboxing video from mm. our friends at Pro mm-hmm. Wrestling Crate where we get cool gold dust t-shirts, we get micro brawlers, we get brawn, we get Funkos, we get all kinds of shit. You want to know what types of stuff we get? Go check out the playlist over there. There's a whole year-long list of all the different boxes we've gotten over like at least a year and a half, something like that. But you won't know what we got until you check it out. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. You know if I ever like, start my own indie promotion? Mm-hmm. What the name of the first show is going to be? Ah. Fuck, fuck Modus. Modus. Not a family friendly show. It makes more sense than Momento More. Maybe. By the way, that's an 18 or over show, so no kids. <laughs>